welcome to this tutorial friends good to have you watching this video of beginners guide autocad tutorial 2007 please in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at our layer manager we're going to be discussing how to use layers in autocad 2007 so i'm going to go to format now if you go to format you click there's a dialog box that pops up so there is another way to do that so i have i have layers all layers on this particular drawing are 59 so it becomes very difficult to add another uh, particular uh, object to this without getting confused in the, the drawing so that is why layers separate objects that you are putting into your drawing so each tool that you want to use should have a particular layer as in your draw tool that you are using should have a particular layer so that you can turn it on and turn it up i'm going to show you how to do that not to worry so there's a particular other way that you can also turn this dialog box on so i'm going to click on this x on this red button here to turn it off so i'm going to turn it off so i'm going to come to this my layer manager i'm going to click on this stack of uh, of squares i'm going to click on it so it comes up to layer property manager so i'm going to go to this layer property manager so this layer manager is divided into segments so if you can see this is status so this status has a green this layer here panels has a green checked good on it so this green if i run on is it current you can press alt plus c which is your short key so to be able to make it current now this current layer if i pick any tool on it and draw it's going to give me this particular color you'll see so i'm going to go turn it off pick line tool so i'm going to draw so you can see produce that color because it is current i'm going to erase that i'm going to come and erase that i'm going to erase that so i'm going to go back to my layer so now i don't like that particular layer i want to change that layer because i want to do dimensions so i'm going to go to new i'm going to click on new see so i'm going to rename that layer so i'm going to rename that layer if yours is not renamed please on your keyboard just press f2 please i'm going to show you so on your keyboard as you have highlighted it just press f2 to rename so i'm going to call it call this arc arc dim because it's my architectural plan i want to rename i want to dimension it acting so that is architectural dimension so i'm going to say uh, okay so that's it for that is that but i'm not too satisfied now we have the layer name which is acting now it's not current so i'm going to say it current you double click on this particular uh, status to set current or you can just come check this red button once it's highlighted you can see let me just turn this wall as a check so you can see one click turn it on so i'm going to go to this my acting and i'm going to turn it to be current so whatever i'm drawing becomes current it comes under this acting so that is a layer layer organizes your particular object into a particular place for you to be able to control so this is on or off if i turn this off this particular stroke line will not be seen again so this is frozen i can froze it if i want uh, this is lock it's good to lock layers so that you don't tamper with them so now you can lock a layer if you don't want someone to tamper with it you can lock it you can unlock it you can unfreeze it you can turn it on so i'm going to go to this to the colors so a color pops up so we have about 255 colors so i can just say okay i don't like that color i want my colors to just be red i can just change it so you see it turns to red so this is a line width now this line type sorry this is a line type so line type determines uh what type of line are you using continuous broken or whatever line so i'm going to click on continuous so it brings a dollar box up so maybe the line i'm looking for is not here so uh, because i want to do dimension now dimensions are supposed to be in solid line i'm just showing you this so i'm going to go to load uh, these are order lines also that you can select from if you the line you want you can just highlight on it just highlight on it and just say okay 
but I'm fine with that solid line so I'm going to say cancel and I'm going to say cancel I'm going to say cancel so now the default color for printing you can set that but uh, if you don't want red to print you can also check this and cancel it but I like it to just print so after all your whatsoever you have done you can now say okay my line width I can change my line width now let me just turn that off this this segment here is has to do with line width I can say okay my line width I'm um, let me make it 0 0.0.4 so 0 0.3 sorry 0 0.3 you can say okay you can see it's there so 0 0.3 so I can now say apply okay so now I can go over to my dimension and start doing my dimensions to now be under that particular layer you can see comes up becomes red because my arc my plan arc is red so it becomes red now if I go over to this I can say okay I I, I don't want it again and I want to turn it off so we can just come here turn it off I'm going to show you that so let's make some some more I'm going to hit continue dimension so uh, I'm going to say this to this this is a window I'm going to dimension it so make it look very pretty so I'm going to make it look nice and neat this is a column I'm going to dimension it so this is it so I'm going to say okay in order not to get too clumsy I'm going to dimension them so that they look a little bit fancy for tutorial sake so I'm going to dimension them so they come out as you have set the layers to be so I'm going to right click and press enter to finish I'm going to press escape to finish that particular command so this is it so the layers they are now on this arc beam now I want to change the layers and turn it off so uh, you I'm going to go set this current and I'm going to say apply and okay so I'm going to click on this go over to Acdim and I'm going to turn it off you can see I say one object changes to a frozen or turn off layer so it's it's off it's there it has not disappeared but it's there but it's just a way to control my drawing now I can still do some other things maybe I want to do without deleting any of this uh, without encroaching on this particular dimension so I can go back say okay this is it I want to turn it back so this is it this is a function of layers guys you can go ahead create a small layers that you want please make sure all objects are in separate layers now let me just show you this you can see this is arc beam so it's there I'm going to hit escape to clear that I'm going to come this one so you can see this is stair this is my staircase so all objects has to be in the particular layer so please guys for beginners as you're drawing please make sure you create layers for every object or every tool that you are going to be using to draw so please make sure you do that so that's it guys please give us a thumbs up if you like our video and also subscribe to our channel for loads of videos coming up for beginner series see you in our next video